Hi, I'm Shridhar Ayer. I'm an IEEE member with 14 years of academic research experience. I received the Young Scientist Award from the DST Serve Government of India in 2013. I'm the recipient of the Prozan Award from IEEE Comsa Bangalore Chapter in 2021. I've published over 90 peer-reviewed articles, multiple book chapters, and a book by LAP Publishers in 2018. My current research focus is on semantic communications and spectrum enhancement techniques for 60 wireless networks. Currently, I serve as an associate professor in the department of EC, KLE Technological University, MSS CET, Belgavi campus. In this video, I will provide the taxonomy, challenges, and direction in the 60 communications research. The first challenge is in regard to spectrum or resource sharing and managing, considering. heterogeneous stuff from our survey we found the directions could be having massive memo fixed phase shifter group connected index modulation to increase the system spectral efficiency and then carrier aggregation second challenge is in terms of having novel transceiver design or architecture and then designing an antenna operating at terahertz in regard to the directions well the 6g transceiver parameters can be adaptively tuned by machine learning algorithms electronics and photonics based approach which will consider transmitting power of power efficiency complexity cost and size needs to be researched semiconductor technology and meta materials example graphene based electronics need to be researched further deep q learning and federated learning based transceiver design is an option ris which is being researched extensively is definitely an option and then analog beam forming hybrid precoding and delay phase precoding are also some options the next challenge is channel modeling of the terahertz band and the directions could be to have constant or near constant envelope modulation example cpm or dqpsk the scim approaches are a balanced trade off between system performance power efficiency and hardware cost detector computational complexity single carrier for low cubic meter cm can also be used then ai machine learning based model free data driven learning and optimization techniques are some directions next dynamic network service provisions need to be considered and the development of advanced methods based on users and corresponding ad groups need to be addressed in regard to the directions we could look at dynamical convergence which would be efficient by designing a software defined and reconfigured radio access network architecture such that communication data caching and computing could be dynamically reorganized merging the xran forum and cran alliance to formally define the requirements would also help achieve the challenges and then designing decellular architecture or user centric ultra dense networks to make use of dynamic ap grouping method is also an option next challenge is advanced techniques to support maximum users and the direction is in terms of enhanced mobile broadband followed by a challenge to develop the physical layer methods to ensure secured interaction with the directions being in regard to cyber security and blockchain based secured service broking brokering schemes the next challenge is to convert 5g enabled network service to that being used for a 6g network and the directions include physical layers which would have ai based technologies which would include deep neural networks k means or supervised unsupervised learning which will then be used in different physical layers to predict traffic and enhance security in terms of the network architecture ai based edge security through security systems and fine grained controls is an option specific deep learning techniques for detecting threats in threats in edge computing is also a direction the ldpc and crm coding schemes will be capable of enhancing the security of the transmitted data dna cryptography techniques are new authentication mechanisms to pro protect data security and privacy the next challenge is the need to design advanced blockchain techniques for addressing scalability reliability latency and energy consumption the directions lie in terms of agile enhanced mobile broadband for reliability event defined 
ultra low latency services and then in regard to performance computer oriented communication service in terms of roadmap and suggestions for 6G standardization ITO has already specified that the 5G standardization will be issued by the end of 2020 and it is now being deployed from industry perspective research on 6G has already started and the key technologies vision and requirements are being discussed by academ academics and industry all over the world it is expected that this research will continue until converging during the period 2024 to 2026 and the standard work on 6G will then start and will work towards 2030. So to summarize the research opportunities in 6G, one could look at new channel model and resource allocation, radio multiplexing technologies, efficient spectrum usage techniques, energy saving mechanisms, hardware implementation, AI machine learning, cost reduction techniques, application specific improvements, and also semantic communications. In conclusion, research on 6G is under dis discussion. 6G will offer 10 to 100 times higher overall capabilities compared to 5G and will integrate the terrestrial wireless communication with satellite communication. It will integrate computing, navigation, AI and newer technologies and will support development of intelligent mobile society with intelligent life and industries. You may refer to some of our recent articles. Lastly, always try to improve your research impact by sharing preprints, collaborating. Also ensure that your article's title, abstract and conclusion remains clear as they are read first. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and comment on the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.